Did you just send me? Great. That is wonderful. I will share that with him, definitely. So welcome. Thank you. And I got your other emails too, so I just haven't had a chance to put them up. So welcome, welcome everyone to our usual Tai Chi. Tuesday afternoon is, we get a little chill out time. We get a little chill out time. Today is a warm day. I'm in my chicken coop, which doesn't have any air conditioning. So, hey T, what's up man? Join us, it's not the same without you for Tai Chi. Uh, TJ, we're gonna do things a little differently today. We're gonna incorporate a couple of different things that you guys usually do in, in some of the yoga classes. And I'm gonna take those steps as well. And um, so we're going to be doing um, a chair. It's like chair yoga. I guess that's the best way to do it, okay? So we're gonna focus less on um, some of the more traditional Tai Chi movements we do and um, some of our mindful movements. We're gonna take a break. We did that last week. So we're gonna switch more to uh, gentle stretching and some chill out time, I think chill out is important it's important for me i like to chill out who doesn't like to chill out yeah t you know the deal we are definitely going to do some breathing we always do breathing we're humans we've got to breathe tj to stay alive which is good but today you are correct. We are going to practice our deep breaths. So if I seem a little, a little like I'm, I'm wilting, it's because my chicken coop is very hot. It's like all of a sudden it's like 80 degrees outside. So we're going to move gently and slowly. Alrighty. And if we've got the time, I think it's something we can start to learn, is seated sun salutations. So some fancy stuff. But if you're just chilling out on Facebook with us, just hang out with us. You don't gotta move. Just chill out and send us some good energy. Say hello. We'll share your greetings with the other part of the group. And uh, we'll have a good time, we'll have a good time. So, I just wanted to, I know I saw some of you before, but Victoria, how's things holding up? Things good? You got some beautiful flowers I see there. Did you get those for your birthday? There's some beautiful flowers. Yeah, nice. I did. Wow, somebody has good taste. Uh, Alona, I saw you earlier today. I saw you all day, but how are you still holding up? Good? Still good? Nice. Hopefully I can chill you out for your afternoon. TJ, how are you? you good. I'm glad you did very good in the last, uh, the last class. I was very impressed. And Nicole, how are you doing? It looks like you're relaxing. Good. All right, Nicole gave me the thumbs up. So welcome, welcome, welcome to our Taiji. Hey, Terrence. What is up, man? Just sit down, relax. Chill out with us. It's our chill out time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our warm up stretches. If you have a hard time moving, um, you don't want to move, it's too hot to move, you cannot move, you, we will adapt it that you can either move your fingers, maybe your toes, maybe your eyes, or maybe just your mind, your imagination. Okay, so whatever which way you can get in on just moving an element of yourself, um, that's fine. We all move. Yeah, TJ. I think TJ is letting us know it is our time to take a deep breath. It is a good way to start. We, we finish what we did. We had a class before. We finished that, and now we start something new, and TJ is right. Let's all take a nice deep breath in, breathing in, filling our belly, filling our chest, filling our upper chest, and then TJ, as if we were blowing out a birthday candle, 
Yeah, yeah. Just kind of blew it out. This time I want to hear a little sigh. Let's let's do it one more time. Let's breathe in. And as we're breathing out, let's just sigh it out. Oh, nice, nice. One more time. Let's breathe in so that our body gets nice and big. Ready, TJ? Breathing in. Thank you, my friend. Breathing in. Our body gets big. Maybe open up your arms. And then as we breathe out, let that body slump forward if you can. Just get it out. Just get it out. Good. Excellent. TJ, good advice. Always good advice. What do we say? Thank you, Nicole. Doing my, I'm doing my dab for Nicole. Um, now, when he's yapping away, when we are stressed, when we are angry, when we are scared, when we are disappointed, when we are having feelings that don't feel good, what is one thing we should stop and do before we lose our cool, before we yell? What do we do, TJ? Nicole's swimming. I don't think she's swimming. Maybe you go swimming. TJ, what do we do? We take a deep breath. Man, that was your cue. We stop and we take a deep breath. Always. And you know, sometimes when we're too, too up, we're too excited, we're too happy, you know, we're like losing a little control of our bod because we're so excited, we can also stop and take a breath, just in and out. Always a good way to ground us, ground us. If you haven't taken your shoes off, this might be a good time. If you wanna leave your shoes on, you can. Um, I'm a little short in this chair, so I need a cushion to put my feet on when I take my shoes off, because I'm a little short. So we're gonna get our bods. Ooh, Nicole, nice mug, girl. I left my, I have these beautiful flowers to look at from Victoria. So I'm in a good place. So you can sit on the ground if you like. You can lay down if you like. You can sit in a chair. Right now we're really gonna structure it for sitting in a chair. I'm sorry, I got gurgles. And what you're going to do is I'd like you to think about your posture, okay? So remember, we want a nice straight spine if we can have it. Ooh, good, I got some more peeps coming in to chill out with me. Hello, hello. So if you're sitting in a chair, if that's how you're gonna follow along with us today, and if you are able, your feet should be touching the ground, should be nice and flat. I'm not gonna show you my feet, even though I did do my, my own pedicure, I'm gonna spare you. So your feet should be touching the ground. If they can't reach and they're dangling off your chair, maybe get a pillow or a book or a rolled up blanket or towel. You can take your shoes off so your tootsies can breathe and relax. Hey, Christian, what's up? It's not the same if you don't stop by and say hello to us. We're just doing our chill out time. So our feet should be on the ground if we're sitting in a chair. If we're lying down, just be in a comfortable position that lets you being able to breathe comfortably. That's really the most important thing, okay? So if you're lying on your back or your side, it's okay. Pick whatever works for you. Alrighty? So I'm sitting in a chair and I'm going to make sure about my posture. So I want to uh, make sure, remember we always have that thing with like a cord. Imagine we're a puppet and we have a cord that goes right from the top of our head all the way down our back, through our spine and out our tush, I guess. And when it's not being held, we're kind of loosey goosey, flopping all over the place. We want to imagine if we could take that cord and we're like a puppet and we're gonna pull ourselves up okay that's what I want you to do I you don't need to be like this but you should have a pretty straight spine if you can all right if you can or what's ever straight for you but if you're clumped over and your arms and everything is like that it's gonna be hard to breathe so we're gonna work on that today to open up the chest and straighten the back okay that's all so get comfortable make sure your your tush is nice and comfy in your chair, if you're sitting in a chair. We took our deep breaths. 
it's just for a moment just sit here it's as if um we're in a seated mountain pose i like to do that uh, that's right t that's right so we're just sitting here comfortably if you need the back of your chair to support you you can do that too just take a minute maybe even close your eyes and let's just count back from five. We're gonna count backwards as our breathing is just, just natural. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, T. Open your eyes. And now we've kind of cleared the slate. We're just relaxing. And our first move in our chair yoga today is we're going to sit with our back straight if we can, or if you're in your bed, that's okay, we'll adapt it. Hey, I'm so glad Kara is joining me. Hopefully I can put her to sleep again because my class is so boring. So what we're going to do is we're gonna bow down to ourselves. We're gonna do a little gentle stretch with our neck, okay, and our head. We're gonna bow down to ourselves and we're gonna bow down to each other. If you cannot move your neck, you can move your eyes. You can look up and you can look down. That's all you need to do, okay? That's all you need to do. Or that inward, imagine as if you are moving backwards and forwards your neck. So sitting in our chair, maybe our hands are nice and comfortable on our lap. Maybe they're together or maybe they're just lying palms down. And what we're going to do is with our back straight, we're going to move our neck or our, our neck and our head down. So our chin is moving down towards our chest. Just gently, don't hurt yourself. Do not make it uncomfortable just as far as it is comfortable. You should maybe be feeling a little pull, maybe just gentle, not painful, in your back of your neck. Just let your neck and your head bend and your head fall forward just for a minute. And then slowly raise your head back up. See what we did? You ready, TJ? You're gonna be looking at your toes. That's what we're kind of look doing. So if all you're doing is moving your eyes because you can't physically move your body or you're too tired, you're gonna move your eyes down. Move your eyes down and then they're gonna move back up. All right, let's do that again. You ready? You ready, T? You ready, Nicole? I see Nicole's ready. We're gonna slowly move our head down. Our neck is bending down. Our chin is moving to our chest and we might be feeling a slight stretch in the back of our shoulders and in our back of our neck. Good. Slowly moving our head back up. Nice, guys, nice. Let's do it one more time. One time we bowed for ourselves. One time we bowed to each other. Let's this time just bow for everyone. Let's do that one more time slowly dropping our neck down or bending our neck and dropping our chin and just letting our head just kind of just hang there for a second thinking of all positive things for the day and then moving our head back that's all that's all it is nice and simple well since we moved our head down to bow what we're going to do now is move our head from side to side if you cannot move your head because you can't or you're too tired, what you're going to do is you're going to move your eyes from side to side. Maybe you're going to look up to the sky on one side and then onto the other. That's all. Just move your eyes or move your fingers one side. That's all. Maybe move your toes up and down. Just get into the practice of moving something in your body. So for our next thing, once again, we're sitting nice and straight in our chair, TJ, Nicole, Kara, and Alona. Or if you're lying down, that's cool too. And then what we're going to do is our hands are resting on our lap or down at our sides. And what we're going to do is we're going to move our neck 
to one side. So our ear is dropping down towards one shoulder. If all you can do is just move it very slightly, fine. If you can move it a little bit farther down, that's okay too. And then straighten your head back up. Good. We're going to go to the other side. Which side you start, doesn't really matter. Moving our ear, dropping that ear towards one shoulder, and then back up. See how we're doing it? We're just moving our head to one side, straight, and to the other side. Go nice and slow and gentle. Very slow and very gentle. Let's do it one more time. You might feel slight stretching in your opposite shoulders, in your neck. Nice, TJ, you're doing a big stretch up above. You're doing a lot of good work. We're not doing that today, but that's a good one. That's a good one. Nice. Let's just now work on our shoulders. Once again, if we're sitting, our back should be straight. Our feet should be flat on the floor. And what we're going to do is, we're actually, I know it sounds strange, we're gonna be pushing down. Like imagine that you're pushing your, your kind of your buttocks, your tush, down into your seat. Imagine that, if you need to wiggle a bit, you're pushing down into your seat so that your spine is straight. And then what we're going to do is, while we have our tush, TJ, that's right, it is kind of funny, while our tush is nice and firm on our seat, we're gonna bring our shoulders up. Like we're asking a question like, huh? And then we're gonna let our shoulders fall. And if you can, if you can leave your arms flat straight down, you'll get even more weight to lift. So my hands are straight facing down, my fingers are pointing down. And I'm gonna slowly bring my shoulders up and then let them drop down. If you're lying down, if you're lying down, what you can do is just try to move your shoulders up just a little bit if you can, or even one. Okay, let's try that again. Nice, Victoria. Nice, Kara. Moving up our shoulders, our arms are facing straight down if we can, and down. Let's do a couple of more. We're just doing like a shoulder shrug. Yeah, up and down. Nice. One more time. Up and down nice just working those shoulders nice and gently now we're gonna try to do cat and cow in our chairs we're gonna see so if you're a person that's lying down all you're going to do is you're gonna move you're you're gonna be moving your chest kind of forward at one point if you can even if it's just like a little minuscule a little minuscule and then you're gonna move your shoulders forward. That's all the movement. That's the movement that you guys are seeing. See how I'm doing that? So you ready, T? We're, for those of us who are sitting, you're all done. Here, maybe I'll, I'll do that. There we go, good. So, what we're gonna do is nice stretch, Kara, big stretch. We're sitting in our chair, our feet are flat, okay unless we're lying down it's okay for lying down and what you're going to do is once again make sure if you're sitting down your tush is really flat on that chair your your posture is nice and straight and what you're going to do is you're going to slowly bring your chest out and it's as if i don't know if you could see it i'm moving a little bit forward in my chair as if i'm like ready to get up See how I'm doing that? I'll do it one more time. I'm slowly, and you can have your hands on your knees for, um, or if you have arms for balance, I'm slowly moving my chest forward. It's as if I'm getting up from my chair. My neck and my chin is facing forward, and my shoulders are a little bit back. All righty, that's the first step. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move back into the chair. And if you have a chair with a back, it's good. That way you know. You can move all the way to the back and you're going to move your shoulders to the front and you're just gonna slightly move your head down as if you're bending down a little bit. See the difference? I'll show that to you again. Here we are. We're moving our chest forward, forward. Okay, our chest is forward, our hands are on our lap, 
Our chin is outstretched. It's as if we were going to get up from our chair, but we don't. We're leaning a little bit forward. As we move back into cat cow, we move our shoulders forward like our chest is moving towards the back, right? Our shoulders are forward and our head is down, okay? Let's try that a couple of times. Moving slowly, chest out, shoulders back, chin forward, bending a little bit in our chair. If all you can do is just move that chest a little bit forward, that's fine. Moving backwards, our body starts to fold in and our back is rounded and our chin is towards our chest. Good. Let's try it again. Moving forward as if I'm getting out of my chair. My chin is forward. My shoulders are back. My chest is facing forward. Moving back. My shoulders come in. My back rounds. My head comes down. This is a nice exercise to stretch that body. Just a nice exercise. Bless you, my love, bless you. Yep. Going forward, how are you doing, TJ? See the move? Nice, I'll explain it again. As we come forward in our chair, our chest is moving forward, our chin and neck is moving forward, our shoulders are in the back. This opens up your chest. It's as if you're leaning a little forward to get out of your chair. As we move back, we're sitting in our chair like we're slumping in our chair. Our back rounds, our shoulders come forward, and our head comes down. Let's do it a couple of more times. This is cat cow in a chair. And if you're in your bed and you're lying on your side, all you need to do is maybe just move your shoulders or your chest just a bit one more time and i'll show you how we do that good nice stretch nice guys if we're lying down on our side imagine i'm, I'm lying on my side all you have to do is maybe if you can lift your chin if you can or lift your chest a little bit and then as you bring back, maybe move your shoulders just a little bit in. That's all. See the gentleness of the movement? If that's what you can do, that's fine. If all you can do is look up and then look down with your eyes, that's okay too. That's all. We're moving our body and our imagination. That's all we need to do. Good job. This is a good one. Some of you do this with Christy in the chairs or sometimes you do this on the floor when we're on all fours. We do the cat when we stretch the back and we do the cow as we come in. Alrighty, now this is a little this is a little trickier. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a lower back stretch if we can. Alrighty? Who here has been sitting on their backs a lot or been kind of cooped up in the house? It does affect our back a little bit. I'm not as active. So once again, if you're sitting in your chair, try to get your spine straight if you can, right? Um, hands are flat on your knees. Facebook people can see me with my hands on my knees. Zoom people, not so much. But my knees, palms down, just laying right on my, my knees, okay? And then, what, let me see if I can adjust this just a bit for you guys. Well, I don't think it matters because um, I don't think you can see it. That's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of the movement we did in the other exercise. All righty. So what we're going to do is our tush. I know, all day I've been talking about our booties, right? Our tush should be nice and firm onto our chair, our surface. Our feet, maybe wiggle your toes just a bit, even if you're laying down, just wiggle your toes just a little bit to get them, open them up, stretch them open, let them come down. If you want to do it with your fingers, you can. Yeah, get those feet relaxed, good. So they should be on the floor, on the ground, or on your pillow, because I'm too short. You ready? So, we're going to have our hands on our knees, okay? 
and then we're going to straighten our spine. It's as if we're moving forward again. Our chest is coming forward. It's as if we were getting up out of our chair, but don't roll out of your chair. And then you're slowly going to bring your chest, your head down, down, as if you were going to go, uh, I guess put your, like in an airplane, put your head in between your legs, so to speak. So you're letting your head drop as far as it can go. And if you can, if you feel stable enough, you're gonna let your arms drop forward as if they were gonna touch your toes, okay? If you can do that, if, if you need to leave your hands on, on the chair or on your knees for balance and all you can do is bend forward, we're bending at the waist, and all you can do is go this far, that's fine. And if you can lower your head, great. If you can't, that's all right. The idea is we are doing a total bend over into our chair, letting our whole body fall forward. And we're having the back get round. That's all it is. For those of you who are lying down, all you have to do is maybe bring your eyes down, bring your chest, your, your, your chin into your chest if you can, or just bring your gaze down. That's all it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back just a bit so you guys can maybe see a little bit more. Okay, so let's do this a couple of times. If you feel dizzy, lightheaded, all you're going to do is you're going to sit up and just take a breath, okay? Not fast breaths, but only go as far as you feel comfortable. You ready? You ready, Carrie? You ready, Nicole? You ready, T? You ready, Alona and Victoria? Those beautiful flowers, I can't get over them. We're going to slowly, as if we're gonna bring our chest forward, okay? Bring our chest forward. And then we're going to slowly bring our chest down. See how I'm moving? My torso is moving forward. And I'm going to slowly allow my arms to fall and my head to curl. Just good. Slowly bring yourself up. Let's do that one more time. One more time. This should be opening up your... Uh, she is, Kara is doing a very good job. She is, Kara, you're doing it. I love how you're stretching and moving, moving that body. So let's do it one more time. Our hands are on our knees. Okay, we're in our chair. It helps if our feet are flat on the ground if we're sitting, because that's what's gonna anchor us into our chair, right? Our tush is nice and firm onto our seat. And we're going to move our chest up. We're gonna lengthen that spine and we're going to slowly move forward okay just a little bit forward and then when you feel comfortable you're going to slowly allow your arms to bend down you're going to bring your your chest to meet your legs if you can your knees and let your arms fall forward get your head down slowly pull out of the pose nice nice good good how's everybody feeling okay all right we're feeling okay we're feeling a little flexible getting in our chair so nice one more thing before we do our sun salutation i think we've got time to do them we're going to do our body twists I'm not going to do the hip opener because I have a skirt on today. I didn't think through this. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to be sitting in our chair. If you're lying in the bed, this is actually pretty good if you're on your back because you can move your arm to one side, then your arm to the other. If you're on your side, it's okay. What you might want to do is if you can move your fingers or your toes in one direction, okay? That's what we're doing. We're just twisting a little bit of our body shape, okay? You ready, T? You ready, Nicole? Do that you ready, Kara? You ready? You arms. So what we're going to do is we are in our um, chairs. And another way, if we're lying down and all you can do is move your arms up, that's okay too. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you can do. Alrighty? 
So we're gonna do a, a twist. We're gonna do a gentle twist. Now, your feet are on the floor. Okay, here's our feet. We're gonna cross our legs. So I don't know if I can show you, it's a little tough. So see how my legs are a little crossed on Facebook, people? You don't wanna see my legs. But we're gonna put, I'm gonna start with my right foot over my left foot. So my feet are crossed. And if you're in bed and you can have somebody help you with this, just to cross your feet and then cross them the other way, that might be a great way to do this. Or if your feet are too uncomfortable, you can move your arms over each other, okay? It's whatever, it's just gentle, gentle. So our feet are like crisscrossed, okay? And what we're going to do, and we're gonna leave them down, we're gonna twist our body from one side to the next, okay? So, you're going to take your hands on your knees, um, and you're just gonna turn, I find sometimes it helps if I stack my hands on one knee. So I'm gonna turn towards my left, I'm gonna put my left hand on my left knee, my right hand on top of my left, and I'm just gonna turn my body. See how I'm just gently turning? My legs are crisscrossed, that will help me. And if that's too difficult and you wanna leave your legs straight, regular, you can do that too. And I'm moving one direction. I'm gonna slowly move my hands to my other knee and I'm gonna to turn to the other side. See how I did that? I'm not moving my knees. Okay, let's do that again. My right foot's over my left foot. I'm gonna turn both ways. I'm gonna put my left hand, um, I'm gonna put my right hand now on my right knee and I'm gonna, you know what, no, let's go back. Let's keep it so we don't confuse people. Left hand on left knee, right hand on top of your left hand and there we go. One more and let's see if you can twist the other way. Good, good. Let's flip our feet. Now we get our legs uncrossed, our feet. We are gonna put our left foot over our right foot. And see how it feels. Does it feel differently in your body when we do things in different directions, when we flip them? And it should, it does feel differently. The other side is more comfortable for me. This side is more difficult. We're going to take our right hand, okay, and we're gonna put it on our right knee. We're gonna take our left hand, put it on top of our right hand, and we're gonna just look over towards our right. And then we're gonna look over towards our left. Gentle, gentle twisting. Gentle twisting, just kind of back and forth. Good and see where you're feeling the stretch. If you're feeling it in your chest, you know, these are simple movements, but you're gonna feel a lot of, um, you're gonna feel a lot of pull, you're gonna feel some pulling, you're gonna feel some stretching, so it's all okay. Good job. I think we're ready. You guys are like, wow, Deborah, that was a lot of work just to get warmed up. Well, yeah, we had some cool poses, so let's see if we can start our sun salutations in a seated position, okay? And if you're lying down, you can adapt it in any which way you want to do it, okay? So the first thing is, hopefully you're still in your seat, you're still with us. TJ, what should we do? What should we do? I want to start our exercise. Well, that's tomorrow, but what should we do? What do we do? We take a deep... We're gonna take a deep breath. Absolutely, we're gonna take a deep breath. So one more, let's just breathe in, and then just out. Just one in there, just kind of get it in. I like to just kind of stretch, loosen my body a bit, and here we go. We're sitting in our chair, we're paying attention to our posture, do we need to pull that string? Let's see, let's check. Ooh, I look like I need that string. I'm gonna take that string on top of my head. I'm gonna pull my body up. Now I'm straighter, good. Good, but comfortable, that's important. 
So what we're going to do, you ready TJ? This is a big stretch up. These are about, let me see, about nine steps. So we'll figure out how we can do this and learn this for the long run. So TJ, excellent, excellent. I'm so proud of you. We're gonna breathe in and we're gonna move our arms up in our chair. Nice T, nice. That's the first step. And then what we're going to do, and if you want, you can bring your arms down. We're gonna do that move where we're gonna bend forward. If you can bend all the way down without falling out of your chair, good for you. If all you can do is stay about here or here, that's okay. And if that's it, you're gonna let your hands drop towards your toes, okay? So I'm gonna come all the way down. Good, that's the second step. We're gonna slowly bring our body up. See how I did that? I slowly brought my body up to sit in a seated position. <clears throat> We are then going to one more time. I'm going to show you the whole step and we're going to break it down. We're going to bend back down like we did. And this time, T, we're going to come back up. And TJ, you're going to stretch all the way up again. Can you stretch all the way up again with those arms? Nice. And then you're slowly going to bring your arms down. Like, I don't know what this is. Like, hey right and you're slowly going to bring your arms all the way down to your sides and if you need to put them on your knees and you're going to stretch up remember we did that up with our chest forward our neck back and then we're slowly going to bring that our back backwards rounded shoulders head in and then we're slowly gonna sit up. Nicole is smiling because she thinks that is awesome. Or she thinks I look ridiculous, I don't know. These are a lot of steps. This is what we're gonna be working on over time, okay? These are gonna take us a lot of time to learn. Usually sun salutations are up when you're standing up um, and you're moving up and down back onto the floor. These are adapted for us to do this in the chair. And the general view what I'm going to show you is we're going to move up, down, up, down, up, arms come to our sides, arms go down to our knees, we stretch out, we stretch back, and we come back. That is the sun salutation. So I might have to send you guys the instructions, but we're going to break these down between our meaningful movements, our Tai Chi. These are really great to do during this time period when we're at home, okay? We can do this. So let's break down the first two steps while we've got a little bit of time together. Actually, I think we're gonna do the three because we're gonna go up, down, and back up. Then we're gonna do the first three steps, okay? You ready? You ready, T? You've got this. You can do this. You ready, Kara? You ready? Uh, Alona, Victoria, I still love those flowers. They look so good. You look like a, like a, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I can't get over them. They're so nice. I feel like I'm in a yoga studio with these flowers. So our first step, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So our first step is, you ready? We take our deep breath like TJ said. And we're going to bring our arms all the way straight. Are my arms are actually, my palms are facing each other. I don't think it matters. It's whatever's comfortable for you. And when we move our arms up, if we can straighten our back, that's great. Then we're going to slowly bend forward. And if your arms have to come down first, great. Your arms are moving towards your toe, to toes, hopefully you have 10. And you're letting your body drop down Nice, Victoria. Dropping down, letting your head fall. That's it. And then you're slowly using your hands, guiding all the way up your calves to your knees up. That's it. That's our first step in these, those are the first three steps to the whole sun salutation, okay? So let's try that again. I'm gonna show you once and then we're gonna do it again. So 
I'm coming up and then I'm coming down, bending all the way over, and then I'm slowly sitting up, okay? That's the fluid movement of this. You move from one movement to the next, like our Tai Chi, like yoga, any type of yoga. So let's see, you ready, T? You ready? Kara's all ready to move those arms all the way up. So let's try it. We're gonna move our arms all the way up. Hopefully it lets us strengthen our spine. And we're gonna slowly bend forward, letting our arms come down, try not to hit my computer. And our arms and our hands are kind of reaching towards our toes. And my neck, my head is tucking towards my chest, if you can do that. If all you can do is this, that's okay. If you feel like you're gonna fall out of your chair, then don't do it. If you have a brace on and you can't move, that's okay. All you need to do is maybe move your arms up and down, and maybe move your head with your chin tucking down, that's all. So let's say if I had a brace on, I'm moving my arm up, I'm moving down, and I'm looking down. If that's all you can do, that's all. You, that's great. And then you slowly straighten up. That's, that's, you got the same movement. You got the same movement. So let's try it one more time. We're gonna move our arms up, straighten, bend down, all the way down if you can, as if you were going to tickle your toes. Let your head drop forward and then slowly move the body, straightening your spine one vertebrae at a time. Nice. You don't want to do that too many times in a row. It can make you a little dizzy if, if, that, if you have an issue going up, down, up, down. So go slow. Go slow. I want to break the next three steps up for you guys. So let's start moving down. Our next move is we move back down like as if we were going to go touch our toes and then our arms are going to come up tj can you stretch all the way up or did, did we move, did i lose him my friends all the way up and then you're going to bring oh there you are there's your head and then i'm going to bring like you're a mime like you're a mime see how that is see how that is let's see if we can practice that one step so we're our next three steps are moving back forward and up but the last one is different it's like we're like a what was this a goal post for football so let's see if we can just stretch and bring our arms into this position you ready T? Kara you do this very well nice nice Victoria everybody can look at Victoria there this is a nice opening this is opening the chest so let's stretch up let's stretch up and then let's slowly bring our arms like we're gonna have jazz hands, right? And see how I am? That's the move, that's the move. And then eventually our arms are gonna float down to our lap. Let's try that one more time. Let's try that one more time. Ready? Let's stretch up, we're stretching up so our arms are up to the high, to the ceiling, and then they're just gonna come down like we're a football post, jazz hands, whatever lifting weights show those muscles and then let them go tj can you show me you stretching all the way up and then bringing your arms out like a t nice nice can you separate your hands just a little bit and move your your hands a little bit apart nice tj nice nice kara approves as well nice then we move on to the next three steps, which is moving that cat-cow position. So imagine we're sitting in our seat, and one more time, I want you to have your hands on your knees, your hands on your knees. Oh, big B flew into my, my room here. And we're gonna straighten and look up, almost like you're looking at the sky. So if you're in bed, maybe you can move your eyes up to the sky, your chest is moving out, your shoulders are moving back. That's it, that's what we did before. And then we're gonna slowly hunch over. Hunch over, that's all we're going to do. So see how we do that? Let's do that again. 
We're going to return to our normal seated position once that's done. And then we're going to try to put them all together. We're going to see if we can put all this together, okay? So let's do this again. We're sitting. This is the third level of steps. We're moving our head, our chest forward. We're looking up at the sky. Our shoulders are back. We're slowly reversing it. We're moving our shoulders forward. Our back is moving in the back. We're hunching over. And we make like this C with our belly. Our C with the belly. And then we're going to slowly return back to a seated position, normal position. That's incorporating our cat cow. Nice, Victoria. Nice following along. Good examples. Good examples. So, should we try it? Should we try to put them back all together and see if we can do one? Should we? We're going to break these steps down. We're going to learn them over time so we can swap them out with our mindful movements, with our Tai Chi movements, and our chair yoga. So we're not always doing the same thing over and over again, but we're moving our bodies and that's what counts, okay? Or we're moving our mind. If you can't move your body, imagine something in nature you know imagine like this is a cat stretching its back it's the cow stretching forward use your imagination that's just as good as well so let's see if we can do one sun salutation together you ready TJ you ready you ready Kara Kara's like I don't know if we can do this I think she can Victoria has her beautiful flowers out Victoria's all set Nicole's like, I don't know. I don't know if we can do this. Alona, do you think we can do it? You think we can do it? Yes, Alona has confidence. She always has confidence in us. I think we can do it as well. You ready, T? All righty. For those of us who are sitting, we're sitting in our chair. Our feet are flat on the ground. Let's open up our toes, spread them. Summer. Yeah. Sitting nicely. We're... Uh, make sure our tush is in our chair. You ready, TJ? We're going to move our arms all the way up in a big stretch. Excellent, T. We're going to now move our arms down. We're going to move like we're folding our body. Or, TJ, you can let your arms fall down onto your lap. And we're going to be as if we are touching our toes, letting our head or our chin move in towards our chest. Good. We then slowly move our body back up into a seated position nice guys nice now one more time our hands can be on our knees we're going to move forward again if you can and if all you can do TJ is look down at your toes that's good enough but I'm gonna drop my body back down as if I was gonna go touch my toes and then I'm going to slowly lift my whole body ready TJ do that full stretch Hands up into the air. Hands up into the air. Both hands up into the air, TJ. Nice. Nice. And then slowly moving our hands into that T. That football. Flag post. Good. And then slowly letting our hands move down back to our knees. We're going to now stretch our chest forward our chin forward, our shoulders back. And then we're gonna go the opposite way. We're gonna bring our shoulders forward. We're gonna curve our back, hunch over, chin into our chest. And then we're gonna slowly come back to a regular seated position. That is a sun salutation. That is a seated sun salutation. That's what we did. Pretty cool, right? Should we do one more? Let's do one more. We're gonna go slow, but I'm not going to talk you out and talk you through it. Well, a little bit, but we're gonna try it. Nice fluid movement. All righty. So we're sitting in our chair. Okay. Ready, T? We're gonna lift our arms in a second. You ready, Carrie? You ready, Nicole? You ready, Aloni? I know Victoria's ready. We're stretching up to the sky. Slowly moving down, bending down if we can touch our toes, chin to chest, good. Slowly moving our hands up our legs to sit into a seated position. 
slowly once more time bending down as if we're looking at our toes bringing our chin into our chest now you ready T your big move slowly moving up T stretch to the sky stretch to the sky bring your arms all the way up nice Kara moving our arms down into that T position letting our arms fall down towards our side resting our hands on our knees we're going to bring our chest our chin forward shoulders back and now we're going to reverse we're going to bring our shoulders forward neck into chest chin to chest arched back and then slowly return to a normal seated position. There you go. Let me let my friend in. Nice guys. Nice work. Whew, it's hot out here. We did a lot of movement. Nice. Nice movement. So let's finish by just letting our bodies cool down, relaxing our minds, and we always end with a nice happy thought. We should. Or a positive thought. So, whether you're lying down, whether you're sitting down, whether you need support for your back, you ready, TJ? We're going to get ready for some deep breaths, too. We're going to slowly let our bodies just recoup. We've made our bodies do a lot of work today. Right, Kara? A lot of work, Nicole. Maybe put your hands gently on your lap. Maybe they're just resting into each other. You ready, T? We're going to close our eyes and we're going to count. We're going to count backwards from 10. We're going to count backwards from 10. We started with counting backwards from 5. We're going to count backwards from 10. If you like, you're going to close your eyes if you can. And you're just going to let your breathing just be whatever it is. Don't try to force it. Don't make it slow. Don't make it fast. Just see what it's doing. And we're going to count backwards. I'm going to do 10. Keeping your eyes closed. Just breathing in and out. 9. Breathing in and out. 8. Seven, six, just see how your body's feeling, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly maybe move your fingers and toes. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Maybe stretch your legs out a little bit. I'm stretching my legs out. I'm wiggling my toes, doing all that stuff. And let's see, let's end it. It's such a beautiful day. I want to hear from you guys on what's going on. Everybody did such a nice job. I love this Tai Chi crew. Alona in the beautiful lilac room over there. Do you have a happy thought or what do you think? Are you enjoying the sunshine today? What do you guys think? Yes, Alona is enjoying the sunshine streaming through windows and looking out. It's just beautiful outside, definitely. Victoria, what's a happy thought? And if it doesn't relate to those beautiful flowers you're hiding behind, I don't know what else you could say. What's your happy thought? Did you have a nice birthday? I did. Then that's a good happy thought. You deserve it. Nice. Now you have those beautiful flowers. Okay? What do you think, TJ? Let me see. TJ, do you have a happy thought for us? Something you're happy about? That's right. Tomorrow, Tony will be back for music. What a great thought. That's something we all can look forward to. Awesome. Even Kara's smiling about that. Kara, what do you think? What could be our happy thought for today? 
Could it be those beautiful windows with all that wonderful sunshine shining in on you and your pretty shirt? Do you think? You think that's what it could be? Carrie's beautiful windows letting in all that sunshine. I love it. Without getting too hot. It's a little too hot out here for me. Nicole, what do you think? Nicole, can you maybe give me those wonderful eyebrows or or wonderful smile is your happy thought? Can you wiggle those eyebrows for me? All righty, Nicole, we know. Michael says he's happy because it's, it's beautiful outside. It's such a nice day. I agree, what a happy thought. What a happy thought. My happy thought for today is that you and I, all of us together, had a wonderful today, a day together. I got to see so many of you for art for uh, our skills group, for Tai Chi. Um, and we got to do it on a nice day where we can hear the birds and we don't have to have rain. Oh my goodness, I get it. So my happy thought is just spending my day with all of you and learning something new. We've learned something new that we will start to practice. So I wanna thank everybody on Facebook for joining us today. We will see you later. For tomorrow, tomorrow is cooking. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Cooking, yes. lunch bunch with uh, Stacy and Allison. Yep. There's a special little additional. It's a Wacky Wednesday class. We're gonna give a, a try. Talk. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. A little movement, I think. And then we end the day. How could we end it any more perfectly with uh, Tony for music? Tony. And then bingo, bingo Wednesday nights. So if you need a bingo card, email me, text me, or you can print out what I sent. You can make your own. It's actually very simple to do. You can make more than one if you like, or you can use both. So I'm going to say goodbye to Facebook people. Have a wonderful day.